Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney. All right. I think you have to go to a new game for it. Because we unlocked the chapter. Yeah, let's start with the new chapter again. All right. Turnabout Samurai. Turnabout Samurai. Woo, let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah. You have disgraced me for the last of The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. Sorry. No worry. <laughs> the moon. No, it is you. Okay. Who is reading who? We don't know. Oh, okay. I, was, I don't know if you wanted to voice act this one. Yay. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right in company law offices. And so it's been about a month since the trial. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa! Stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Oh, hold on one sec. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. Oh, for the game? Uh, um, for myself, yeah. Sorry. It's a little loud in my ears. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we don't want to blow out your earphones. Thank you. All right. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Ooh. Ooh. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young, like how young? Um, uh, 10 years old? <laughs> So what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Also, just fun fact, yeah. in the most recent Phoenix Wright game, Maya is 32. Oh no! What? No! It's been 15 you know years. I know, I'm so old. Of this town. <laughs> hey! Don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. <laughs> then watch it with me. He's really cool and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Well, that's not bad. We watched Batman. No, it's not bad. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. Sorry, my microphone just dropped. <laughs> I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the writing company law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Oh, this is intimate. Ooh. Uh, hello, this is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um, is 
isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No! I mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. Oh, whoops. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick. All right, there we go. October 16th, 9.22 AM, right in company law offices. Mario's right here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor, Will Powers, was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids' show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. Hmm? <laughs> Jack Hammer. Oh. <laughs> Jack Hammer. Ha! <laughs> His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was a murder weapon, and there are- Well, you don't say. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The steel samurai is over! The world is over! The world. <laughs> world. Yes? Fight and company law offices. What? Nick! Uh, it, it, it's the Steel Samurai! <laughs> but what? Yes! Yes, of course! We'll be right there! Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention! So what? So, I've decided this will be our first case! <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Look at my, uh... I know how so like... determined. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What to do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai! Does she want to investigate this case, or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. Alright, ideas. <laughs> we don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't know what- you don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information. Alright. Yeah, no, back. back to the puffed up cheeks. Alright. <laughs> Better move. Let's move! October 16th. Detention Center. Visitor's room. Ooh! Sabertooth! <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Um... Is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. I love the chest hair. I do too. <laughs> um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it! Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... I guess I'll be Will. <laughs> okay. Yes? Um, some Something wrong? Uh, no, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know, you're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh no! Oh no! 
No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. Aww. It it's the kids, you know? Aww. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh, what a sweetheart. You know what's so interesting? I've heard people talk about that, like, British actors, like, with Doctor mm -hmm. Who. Yeah. Is there, like, like, I've... Like, people thought Benedict Cumberbatch was going to be a uh, Doctor Who for a long time. And yeah. uh, he said, you know, I prefer to, you know, go home and be myself. Like, I don't want to, you know, be walking around town and then a child come up, come running up to me and want me to sign their lunchbox or something. And me having to be Doctor Who. It's like... <laughs> just... That's why actually a lot of actors, I mean, I don't know if you've notice this but a lot of recent actors stay doctor who maybe for like a year or two maybe like three i think uh david tennant he was probably like three or four i don't know i wasn't what i didn't watch that much but they don't stay in that role for very long in modern times recently like no. back in the day like you would stay in that role for like 10 eight, like a very long time a very long time yeah but not so much anymore but it's, but seriously, the chest hair on his chest, <laughs> it looks like somebody took like a tribble, speaking of sci-fi, like <laughs> a tribble or some kind of furry animal and just shoved it into his cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tuft of fur. <laughs> Aww. Okay. He's just a manly man. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. Oh. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Even though just now my, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you were convinced you'd kill at least one person. Yeah. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Alright. Let's, uh, examine first, because always... Did I say something else? Smile for the camera. How about the guard? There's always something for the guard. <laughs> this guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Will Powers. <laughs> But not really. He's always <laughs> he's always he's just posting. standing there. All right. Talk. Oh, actually, a his shirt. let's present our attorney oh, badge. The attorney's badge. <laughs> um, here. I I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in him. Oh. Oh. All right. Talking. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. Seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. Okay. <laughs> the cast had to had come down to Global Studios for a run. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. Okay, go back. There's a rehearsal scheduled for 5 o'clock in the afternoon. When 5 o'clock came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying at a crumpled heap near the set. Oh, sorry. Oh, me too. Making me yawn. I'm sleeping too. Is making... No worries. <laughs> oh no, the voice... <laughs> the voice is making me yawn. I'm sorry about that. They took off his mask. I discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. Expertly. Expertly. The samurai spear? Yes. It's a long spear that I... That the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Alright, let's talk about the steel samurai. Excuse me. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, 
How could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey! Who's new to this? No, oh, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo. Fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although... I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> Aww. I, I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Come on. You keep pulling it up. I know, well, I keep clicking on it because it's right above the arrow. Oh. Alright. Powers Alibi. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came down to the studios at 9 o'clock. I'm so sorry that this voice is making me yawn. <laughs> no worries. We worked through some action scenes until noon. And there's... <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll meet her. The scream we'll her in over in the background. The scream. <laughs> the rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. Oh, so my yawns are appropriate. Yeah. So, after, so after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. Now you're making me yawn. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's contagious. When I woke up, it was after 5 o'clock. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? Aww. That is cute. Yeah. I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios, I'll draw you a map. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asks for autographs. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Alright. Move. So, pardon me, one second, I'm gonna get some more water. You're not even getting up from your chair. Hi, I am not getting up from my chair. I'm just scooting to the bridge. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, uh, scoot. Okay. Alright, there we go. At least your voice was captured very nicely. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I just know that we're gonna go uh, to be to the studio, and I know we're gonna meet Wendy, old bag. And I'm oh. gonna have to voice Wendy. Okay. So it's like, okay, I need a clear voice and lots of water. October 16th, Global Studios, main gate. Wow! This is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hi! You there! You want in? You gotta go through me! Oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Phoenix is the lawyer, Maya. Not you. Aww. Hey! <laughs> don't, don't awe that! What do you mean? Oh, well, I guess, you know, you did go through law school, so you're very protective. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security! And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out! G gawkers? Gawkers! Sightseers! Tourists! I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around! Youth today! Something ho- oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hip 
be close. Uh, 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 I, <laughs> Sorry. I just went off on a tangent at the I, end like, there. I was trying to read, but I couldn't. I brought bits and pieces and she just went off on a tangent. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Old bag. Also, it's just, it just says old bag. <laughs> <laughs> Listen when you're being spoken to, youth today. All right. Let's examine. Okay. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. All right. The computer that runs the the blah, blah, blah. the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey! No! Oh my god! Her face. <laughs> I can't wait to see her on the stand. I can't either. <laughs> All right. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Uh, looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Okay, so this is this is an, actually kind of interesting. You drive in, and then there's only a left turn. Hmm. And left is to the employee area, right? Is what he said? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you are a star? Oh, only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago? Now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the, big materi the best material to work with. All right. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He is not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. But old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty! How do I know? I know everything! That's my job! Okay, then. <laughs> what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, <laughs> If you only knew, Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in this down. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Uh, should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Used to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. All right then. You know, it's funny. If he were alive, this sounds like uh, an, like he would have a lot of motive to be a murderer himself. Actually, hammer. Yeah, because it's like, what, what, what is the use of getting rid of him? That's true. If he's if he's being paid peanuts and. Yeah, you know, he's kind of desperate for... Anyway, go ahead. No, that's that's true. That's a good point. Okay, reason for suspicion. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon 
to five o'clock when they found the body. Excuse me. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 p.m. when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes! I saw him! But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh! I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. Oh, shoot. Come on! <laughs> but he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along! Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. All right, all right. Gotta go back to Will. All right, hold on. I want to just present for her my, uh... <laughs> just to see. What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. <laughs> all right, never mind. That wasn't as uh, funny as I thought it would be. All right. Let's go back to the detention center. Hello. How was the studio? They all think I did it. They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? R right. Not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> all right. Alibi. I, I do love Will. He's a recurring character in the series, and I do love that he's oh, yeah. showing up. Yeah. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No! I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading toward the scene of the crime. What? That, that, that's not possible. Sorry, I just remembered something. <laughs> I, I got lunch with my friend yesterday, and uh, yeah. he asked if we were going to be streaming today. And I told him that I just want to remind him, so let me just remind him real quick. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to. <laughs> Is see it Joe? If... No, it's Sam. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, Joe. If if you all remember, he is the other uh, one of them. Yeah, classmates. Joe is my friend from law school. Sam is my friend from undergrad. Yay! I remember Sam. Yeah, you know Sam. Yeah, he came in a couple yeah. times. Yeah, uh, I have. I have. Let me just double check our stream to see if. Okay. Anyway, I'll wait till I hear back. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what a big baby. I, like, oh. want to be his friend so badly. <laughs> I know, I want to give him a hug. I know. And a cookie. And a cookie. <laughs> but I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Alright. The lady. Um... About the security guard at the main gate at the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! <laughs> yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. 
Take off that mask. Hold on, let me try this again. Take off that mask for her. <laughs> Good job, Anda. Thank you. Try to match the shrill with the deepness of his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to marry that together with this sort of droopy voice there that I've go. given him. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once, and she'll never let up on you. Ugh, she's got some nerve. Do you think you could write us a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Alright. How is request added to the court record? Yay! I just hope this will get us me past that security lady. Alright. Let's go back to the studio. Let's do it! So much running around. I know, that's a bit of back and forth, but I guess it's good to pace out the, uh, you know... Oh, it's character. A it's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. All right. Powers request given to the security lady. All right. I think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearances. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left through here, towards the studios. No going to the right! That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal. Were my instructions. A good detective told me himself. Hey, 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 Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! <laughs> guide map of, guide map of <laughs> Global Studios added to court record. All right, let's go. Off to outside Studio One. All right, let's do it. Oh. October 16th, Studio One entrance. Oh, ah! Okay, I'll be gum shoe. Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective. <laughs> Sorry. It's that confused detective. I was cute. Hey, pal! You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault! I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window! Um... So? I do like Gumshoe. <laughs> I love Gumshoe. Gumshoe's one of my favorites. Gumshoe so and Larry. Endearing. Yes. <laughs> hey! If he's depressed, then it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work! Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh no. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh. Oh no. I I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. We're on the next case, yes. Maya. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well... We're on this case too, pal! <laughs> huh? Hey! You can't just go around saying pal like that! That's my endearing character trait! <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to like pause for one moment 
just to pull up, like, just to pull up the, uh, <laughs> Oh, this will be an interesting reel. glimpse in your, <laughs> I was going to say, this will be an interesting glimpse in your YouTube recommended section. Oh, it's our YouTube re recommended section, actually, as you can oh, see. Oh, so this our, is for our channel. Our channel. Yes. Up yeah. here in the top right corner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but... Ace Attorney Bloopers. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So we're just going to watch a couple. We're not going to watch the full thing, obviously. But. Okay. I just wanted to show a couple of Gumshoe. Do you know which one has Gumshoe? Okay, I was under well, the I guess you know. Doing. We were here today to solve Dougie's murder. Am I wrong? Farting butthole. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. It right. couldn't be. I didn't kill this guy. I kind of did. Eh. Especially, I'm sure was on the case with the. To the contrary. Huh? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Harry, we're prepared to hear their statement at any time. Oh, your suit is loud. The. <laughs> These, the dub of this anime is just iconic. Yes, yes. That's relevant. Detective! Shut the f*** up! <laughs> All right, here it is. Can it f*** me? <laughs> f*** off. <laughs> ah, I'm being electrocuted! <laughs> She started dating a college student for several months so she could use him. I'm curious. Did she ever talk about that guy? Not really, but she did tell me one thing. She said she hated his guts. That's it. Is there a good place to kill myself around here? <laughs> oh, before it slips my mind, I found something I thought was a little weird over there. Pull my finger. <laughs> and whoever did it was a child, I'm sure. What the f*** do you mean by that? I mean, it's pretty obvious no adult would have made a silly little mistake like that. Bitch! Love it. Gathered her lifeless <laughs> All right. All right, sorry. I just wanted to pull it up because I was like, that's the inspiration be behind the voice I'm using for Gumption. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> Uh, we've got a hold on. We got we got the bot on here. How do I get rid of him? You just don't. I mean, that's not right. Hello, Whatever. bot. Oh, here we go. Let me uh, kick him. Ah, ban him. That oh, that was actually something I um did in Vampire the Masquerade. That was a sort of mini game that you did with Hope. Oh, banning bots. Uh, yeah, she, you had to manage her, uh, uh, stream. Cam girl stream. Her cam girl stream. So Hope yes. wasn't just a... Oh, it's actually... Oh, I love that section. It's, uh, called, um, Dirty Talk. I called it Dirty Talk. You can see it on our YouTube oh, channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Okay. All right. I'd say he's a character, all right. All right. Salmon. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the uh, non-employees out. See, this is odd looking. What is that thing? Yeah, the head is... yeah. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind? But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1. Left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of... Busted. Oh, the wood was pretty strong yesterday and took the head off. It took down that tree, too. 
Alright. Hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data, and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the back of the camera. ST1-307. That must be the camera ID number. Okay. I'm a little bushed. Bushed. <laughs> Maybe I'll Aww. take a short rest here. Hey! Good idea, pal! <laughs> Detective! Aren't you on the case? <laughs> well, yeah, but... Hey! Us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal! <laughs> Aww. Alright. Oh, oh, no. Oh, we gotta talk to him now. Yeah, I just wanted to... Yep, okay, yeah, alright. Talk to Gumshoe. I like Gumshoe! I know, he's so endearing. The investigation. So, how is your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey! I can't tell you that, pal! Nick? Maybe you need to be a little more... indirect with your questions? <laughs> right. So, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? That's indirect. I know, really. That's less indirect. What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. <laughs> Very indirect. Very indirect. Of you. But no, seriously, it's like the autopsy report. Like, seriously? Middle of the trial, you're gonna say, I had the autopsy report updated. Yeah. So please, Detective, can you please give me the latest version of the autopsy report? Oh, gosh. Report. Mm, right, right. I have Sorry. A question. Huh? I have a question sure. about that, actually. Uh huh. So if there was an event like that, would you have to redo the whole trial? Like if someone called in for a second opinion or a second uh, mortician... Uh, that's not a mortician. For a second for a doctor to come evaluate... Like a second opinion on an autopsy report? Or a second opinion on... Yeah, a second opinion on how the person died. No, not, not necessarily. So uh, they're what are called expert witnesses. Uh -huh. And uh, each side can bring in an expert witness. Uh, and again, like, so what, whatever my experience is based on, I mostly took civil trial courses. Um, so it, it could be like accidental death or things like that in a civil matter, which is, which is what I have been educated in. I'm not incredibly well educated in criminal matters, but I don't think it's too, too different. Uh, okay. basically the state, like, there's always an autopsy report and the state can bring in an expert witness to say, like, hey, this is my opinion on what happened. And gives their objective interpretation of the data. The other side can also bring in an expert witness to talk about the same data and the same facts and say, I actually think why happened as opposed to what the state, the state's expert witness has said. So what it's not... I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. So, it's, so it's not necessarily like that you have to have a whole new trial. A lot of times what happens is just two opposing expert witnesses are brought in. What if the actual autopsy report was put into question? Like, what if someone said that they found this to be odd? I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to think about like, um, sorry, BuzzFeed and Salt came up again and I was yeah, thinking I know. of George Reeves' death. They did the George Reeves um, episode oh, recently. Oh, yeah. And I was just thinking, you know, some, like, an off, a lot of times in those cases where things get fumbled, it's like, oh, um, undetermined. It's deter It's said they're, like, undetermined rather than suicide or murder right. or anything definitive like that. What if that uh, conclusion was thrown into question? Like, the I, actual data found. I don't actually know, to be honest with you. Okay. okay. I don't... Well, like, like, and I mean, that's not uncommon for cause of death, cause of death to be undetermined. Mm. You know, like, uh, like I know in his case it was like, was it suicide? Was it murder? Nobody knows. And it, that doesn't really mean that we need to have a whole new trial, though. Yeah. You know, usually what that means is, um, 
Well, okay, here's, here's, a, it, it could mean that you could have a new trial. Let me, let me backtrack. It could mean that you would need a new trial if, like, for example, somebody was tried and found guilty of murdering George Reeves. And part of the evidence included in his uh, conviction, in, in like the jury's determination that he was guilty, if part of that evidence included the fact included a faulty autopsy report, yeah, he could have killed that. Fe- in Phoenix's case, I mean, with Maya's report, they later added, oh, she actually veered to the left and she could have survived a few minutes. That's a pretty big... R- yeah. Yeah, that is, that is significant. Um, and honestly, Phoenix could probably appeal his trial if he was yeah. found. Like, had he been found guilty, he would have 100% been able to appeal and say, yeah. you know what, the, ca- the state actually didn't have um, a case against me and all their evidence against me was faulty, or at least this one bit of evidence that they relied heavily upon uh, to, convict, to convict me of murder was faulty. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. You know, there are, there are a lot of rules. <laughs> There are a lot of rules um, <clears throat> with criminal trials and civil trials, with both, with, with evidence in general, there are a lot of rules. And sometimes it can be contradictory. Like, okay. so, so for example, I wrote a, I had to write a paper. Well, well what am I, I didn't have to write the paper. I chose to write this paper as like a um, writing project that I had to do for my law school final. Uh, to graduate, and it was um, a question about perjury. Uh, so basically, which literally I want to say every single witness in this entire game series commits perjury. Oh, a hundred percent. A one hundred percent. But so, you know, like you as a defendant, you don't have to say, we all know, I hope I hope we all know that you as a defendant in, in the United States of America, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to prove your innocence. It is entirely the state that has to prove that you are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You don't have to say anything. And so any action by the state, whether that's like police or the, uh, the uh, attorney general or whatever, um, or the uh, district attorney or whomever, whatever office, like act, any actor of the state, they have to be 100% clean otherwise and whatever they're doing otherwise like he was the defendant can bring into question like whether or not like like you can bring into question the state's action against you and say the state actually does not have a case against me right yeah which uh, is entirely why and again we don't have to go down this rabbit hole because if we did it would go down forever but uh-huh. watch the people versus oj simpson on netflix well and that's the other that thing is yeah, yeah, no, that's it's a great uh, example. Hundred <laughs> percent, because it's like, and that's the difference between uh, civil and criminal, you know? Because yeah. like in a criminal case, you have to be proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah. In a civil case, it's preponderance of the evidence, which is a lower standard. Yeah. It just means that one person has to have better evidence than the other, or I guess. Yeah. As in, in very in layman's terms. Yeah, in layman's terms. But so anyway, what I was talking about was the rules are so tricky but also like hi- like contradictory in a lot of ways so so like I, said, I was saying I had to write a paper on perjury and how you know basically anytime if the state if does anything wrong against you uh, that violates your fifth amendment rights as a defendant but but the paper I wrote on I wrote on was a question as to whether okay let's say the police did everything right the you know, attorney general did everything right. Like everybody did everything right on the state side. But what they didn't know was that a defense, a, one of the witnesses lied, you know, like let's say hypothetically a witness lies on the stand and literally nobody on the state knew they, everybody on the state did everything right. It was just purely this witness lying. And because of that witness's lying testimony that the defendant was put away. Is that a violation of due process of law? You know? Because it's like, the state technically has not done anything wrong to hurt you. The, the yeah. state technically has not violated your rights to life, liberty, or, or property. Yeah. It's purely another person, a private citizen that has done that. And so while yeah. I was uh, re- doing research for this paper, 
I came across a case that actually got appealed to the Supreme Court. Sorry, I know this is like probably pretty boring. <laughs> That's okay, we can skip ahead. Yeah, but- You can it, skip ahead. <laughs> but, um... All right, autopsy report. Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30 p.m. Caused pierced through the chest by a spear. But I do actually okay. want to bring this up. Uh, yes. Sorry, now that, I've ta now that I was talking about it, I do want to bring it up. There was a case that was appealed to the Supreme Court. Basically what happened was a man uh, was found guilty of murder. And then later on, the same, the same prosecutor who tried him for murder and got him convicted of murder brought him on as a witness in his sister's trial for the same case and convicted his sister of murdering the same person. And the gentleman who had initially was was been convicted of being guilty, he like they brought in and said, "Oh yeah, he only he only ex he only like admitted he was guilty to protect his sister." And so they used that to in the sister in the trial against the sister. So two people were convicted. A brother and sister were convicted of the same murder. And it's so, it's, it's like, technically you can do that. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, well, I'm just thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so sorry, Eleanor Neal, she just, uh, again, she's another true crime person that I follow on YouTube. She does fantastic videos, by the way. Mm -hmm. She just posted about the Grim Reaper of Paris. Mm -hmm. And for the first eight murders, he acted with his boyfriend. And nobody knows which one of them actually did it, but for the uh, he, 21 people died. Oh my um, God! Over how what length of time? Uh, let me think. There were there were three waves of it. I think there was the first wave, and then there was a, and then there was like a pause for like a year and a half, and then there was a second wave, and then there was another pause for like uh, three months or so, and then like another person died, and then I think there was a third wave or something like that. But yeah. Um, but then he and the boyfriend broke up, and then um, he went on and killed the other the remaining. Uh, 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 17 people. Oh my god. No, no, it, no, it's not 17. 13! 13! That's, Excuse still, me. that's <laughs> still a lot of people. It's still a lot of people, yes. Yeah. So, uh, the boyfriend was convicted of the first eight because actually the Grim Reaper uh, had tested HIV positive and he died before he was ever brought to trial. So, only eight people got justice, technically. But he did admit that it was him wow. that did all of those killings. So yeah, nobody knew, I guess that's the only example I came up with, but nobody knew if the boyfriend was actually doing it, but he at least was aware of the crime and allowed it to happen. But yeah, he was convicted of the first eight murders. You know, it's so interesting, like, I was, I remember watching a documentary about Jeffrey Dahmer, and, um, the sister of one of his victims, like, she, she did she wasn't, like, angry at him, like, she had forgiven him at that point, which is bigger than anything I could have ever done, by the way. So, like, the sister yeah. was a huge person. Amazing oh, someone woman. does that to my sister. I, I mean, I mean. Yeah. You're no, I'm not like, gonna say like it. Like, you're a big person for doing that. And yeah. Props to this lady. She was like, I just wanted to know. Like, she just said, I just wanted to know how my brother died. I just wanted to know why Jeffrey picked my brother. And it's so, and it was so interesting hearing Jeffrey Dahmer talk about this lady's brother because he said, oh My God, have you ever seen your brother dance? Like, he is amazing. Like, and, and it's like, the, it's, it's like he killed this person, but it wasn't because of malice yeah. of any kind. It was like he himself didn't want to be alone and he actually like seemed to be seriously attracted to and cared about the people that he yeah, killed. Yeah, there's, there's another killer here in the UK, again, covered by Eleanor Neal. Uh -huh. um, he only killed because he was afraid of being alone. So yeah, no, would... and Jeffrey, well, Jeffrey Dahmer was the same thing. Like, that's why he was yeah. a cannibal. Yeah, he killed, yeah, he, he was, this guy was a cannibal as well, supposedly. It's actually really odd how eerie it's it's the same. But yeah, he would just keep the bodies there because he was like, these people, I, I don't want to lose them. I don't want them to leave me. Yeah, and but, Jeff yeah. yeah, and Jeffrey Dahmer was apparently the same way. He would be like, no, I, I like, he would consume these people because he didn't want to be alone. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. But if you're okay. Interested in so the Eleanor Neal, <laughs> if you're interested in the Eleanor Neal case, I believe that it was the one. I, I can't remember what exactly it's called, but it's the killer that was caught because the, but there was a back drain because he was dumping down the human remains down the drain and it okay, clogged so, the so one last, flat. One last yes. thing before we. <laughs> so my good friend Kelly, who I think she's yes. been on this channel before. We she streamed with us before. 
But yeah. Kelly, um, you know, she and I work for the government. I'm not going to say where, but she and I work for the government. And she is also getting her master's degree in forensic psychology. Oh, good for her. Yeah, no, Kelly's great. And, uh... <laughs> And she was just talking to me like, oh, I can't watch like true crime documentaries anymore because it's like too much saturation of like what we do for work and then what I'm just learning at school. And I was like, God damn it. I wanted to talk to you about the acid bath murderer. But, <laughs> but no, the acid bath murderer, if you haven't heard of him, he is actually fascinating yes. as well. Because, yes, he is. And, and it's fascinating, like scientifically, it's also very fascinating because it's like, uh, I guess if you use like laundry detergent, or Why like, are we giving these people ideas? They're not. We're not giving. <laughs> we're not giving people ideas. We're just talking scientifically. Like this stuff has been out there, but it's like laundry detergent is like scientifically, chemically formulated to target fats and proteins. You know. Just to need. Just need you some why. Thank you, Twist. <laughs> Just but yeah, it's like so. It's like if you take a body and you put and you like soak it in laundry detergent, then the then all like the bodily parts will go in. Eventually, you'll just have the bo- the bones, and then literally all you do is soak the bones in like lime, and then your bo- and then the body will go away. But like the acid bath murderer, he didn't do like the detergent part. He only did like the acid part yeah. to try and get rid of the body, and he did it because. He misunderstood the legal concept of body of evidence. Yes, yes you know, he like did. He thought that if there's no body, there's no crime. So yeah, it's that's like, why he was... Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. That's why he was so straightforward during the yeah. confessional. And then, and then when he realized, oh, I can actually get in trouble for this, then he's like, oh, also I drank their blood. Yeah, no, it was, sure. like, it was like, this man is so, like, was so intelligent in so many ways... But because he thought, okay, if there's no body, there's no crime, I melted the bodies, I can just straight up say to the police, yes, I kill these people, they're, like, I mo- like, the molten, like, bits of their parts are in my backyard, would you like me to show you? <laughs> he was like, he thought, like, I can do this, and I can talk about this, and I can admit to it, but these people won't arrest me. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fascinating, but... Yeah, because he's like, you have no proof, but anyway. But you do, actually, because you, because I just told you. 